Hello everybody, it's Andrew. Uh, today our topic is uh, protection. That means how to protect your uh, worksheet. So uh, that one, when you uh, share your document to the uh, somebody, so which part they can add, which part you can not read only. Okay, start. So uh, create a new uh, Google Sheet. Uh, I change the name is protection. Protection. Okay. Uh, select the range here. Oh, it, it, it is a. Uh, for the protection, they have the two types of protection. One is warning. That means when you add it, when somebody add it, you pop up some warning message and then they can change that. Another one is a restriction. So that's a pop up message. You, they cannot add it, that's area. Okay, so, uh, that, that range. So firstly, we select the range in here it's, uh, for the warnings. Okay, select the here, and change the color into this area. Cannot, uh, when you change it, it's a pop up the message. Uh, we can identify which area. Okay, the here is the warning something and the set permission. The permission have the two things. The one is just showing the warning message. Okay, get. So another one is restrict. Restriction here. Okay, select the, the range. This, this range is the restriction. Okay, add the range. The E2 G6, E2 to G6, and set permission. That one is tricked. Only you can add it. Okay, that one is our oh, restriction. Okay. That. Another one is you can protect your whole sheet. This one is protect the, the range. The other part, you can add it, and the other people can add it. So I create another sheet. I want to, this area, exception, exception. That's mean only this area you can add it. The other range, nobody can only uh, read only. Here you can put on here to add it. The range is a C2 E7, C2 E7, and set the permission is select the sheet with exception C2 E7, C2 E7. The except the, the range, set permission. Okay, they have the two things. You can put on the, uh, okay, the warning message or do not change in the other area. Okay, we said that. Just now we have this, uh, two things. One is the range to restriction. The other one is the whole sheet except the range for some restriction. Okay, then, so we just now we share this document to the other people. Share it. So you can get this uh, uh, message. So here, just now, if you copy the link, this link is only read only. So you can change it into editor. So that means this link, put on, uh, somebody use this link can edit your math, your uh, worksheet. Let's just copy the link. Then. So okay, we go to uh, the here. We put on the, the link. We get the worksheet, right? So when you change something here, 
you get the message. But you can change that. Here, you already changed it. This red one is somebody is added. So here. Look at it. You can change it as well. N nothing happened. You can change anything the other area. But in here, you cannot change it. This problem, you can change it. You cannot change this area. So in here, just reverse. So here, you cannot change. But you can change this area. So here, you already change that. Look at it, the here. It's a synchronize your document. That means the one document is a multiple people can working on the one document. This is the shares functionality in the Google Sheet. It's very, very useful for the one document for the multiple people. I hope this is useful for you. If you like it, please subscribe me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.